two families live at this scrapyard in the Brazilian city of Goiânia. It's also home to the world's worst accident involving a radioactive source. Its lessons still shape actions on nuclear safety and security decades later. It started in September 1987 when scrap dealers pillaged and then sold a metal canister from an abandoned medical clinic. They had no clue it contained a powerful radioactive source used to treat cancer. Cesium chloride, a glittering powder that glows blue in the dark. He took the, the equipment to his dining room and called the neighbors, relatives, friends to show that, that glittering object and small fragments of the source were taken, uh, were rubbed on the skin, were given to other people as souvenirs, and that's the way contamination became to spread. Yes, they burned their skins, they burned their skins from a very mi mild burns up to very severe burns, up to now opened. The powdery cesium spread undetected for over two weeks. Almost 250 people were contaminated, four died in the first month, including a little girl that lived here. The legacy of a handful of cesium is 3,000 cubic meters of contaminated waste. It's buried here. Goiânia's plight brought global change. The International Atomic Energy Agency introduced rigorous safety standards for sources. Brazil now requires that each and every source is licensed for lifetime tracking to final disposal. Certainly the public and the environment are better protected now than 20 years ago. Lessons were learned in Goiânia, but worldwide radioactive sources are still dumped and lost. Recover the sources in that shipment of scrap. The IAEA knew of 10 such incidents involving dangerous sources last year. Fears are next time might be malicious. Efforts are underway to assist countries to search and secure abandoned sources, train border guards to detect them as part of a cradle-to-grave approach needed to keep radioactive material secure, so that what happened in Goiânia is never repeated.